there may be confusion over the popular dieting adage of, I'm losing weight, but I'm eating more than ever before, regarding the false belief that consuming more calories will somehow elicit fat loss. This notion is of course scientifically impossible. In scientific terms, an individual must be in a state of caloric deficit for weight loss to occur in the first instance. But by eating more than they ever have before, they have simply increased the volume of lower calorie foods across their overall dietary intake. Thus they are eating more total food, but fewer overall calories, resulting in adherence to a caloric deficit. As a caloric deficit is the only way fat loss can occur, reducing caloric intake may be difficult for an individual seeking fat loss. Not least because there is a change in dietary habit and habitual satiety after feeding episodes. Therefore, it makes perfect sense to consume a relatively high volume of food in order to remain satiated and reduce risk of excessive calorie consumption. This can be delivered to an individual via consumption of lower calorie foods which can be eaten in relatively high volume. Most fruits and vegetables exist as prime candidates to champion such strategic execution of a sustainable calorie deficit. Increase in movement should also be considered. Calorie-dense foods, including those with or without nutritional value, should be included as part of a moderated calorie deficit if enjoyed. But there should be realization that excessive consumption will likely counterattack the overall balance of energy over time. There is no magical metabolic inferno which enables an individual to consume a greater volume of calories than before and lose fat. Instead, a greater volume of food may well be consumed, but such food will contain fewer overall calories than previously.